All right, here we are. I'm installing the motor on the block. Um, you saw how I put that together in the last video. Had to kind of widen out the holes for the bolts to pass through and things like that. No big deal. But I did end up only using three bolts instead of four. Um, this is not really a high, um, high energy, high intensity application here. So having three bolts instead of four is going to be totally fine. Um, and just testing it out for the first time. Pretty exciting. There's really no need to actually plug it in other than to just, you know, see it working while attached to the block. It's just kind of exciting. So you can kind of picture how it's going to be set up now. You can see the, uh, the pulley in line with the wheel from the trommel. And so I'll put a belt around that pulley and then around the wheel on the trommel. And that will be the driving force to rotate the trommel. Here I'm measuring the belt length, and this was part of the problem that I had, is I measured the belt length incorrectly. Um, and I think part of what I, what I was doing is, by wrapping this string around the pulley and around the bike rim like that, I'm getting an inner diameter for a, for a belt. But really, belts are measured according to their outer diameter, so you'll see later on I didn't actually get the right sized belt. Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> the belt that I got is not the right size. Should have known that was going to happen. It's too small. Um, so I'm going to have to order another belt. Uh, so it's going to be another couple days before I get it. This week's a little bit easier on me. I'm not nearly as stacked as I was last week. Last week it was just crazy for me. So I wasn't able to come home midweek and work on anything. Um, but this week is a lot more... Um, relaxed for me, so I'll be able to order a belt, get it shipped by, say, Tuesday, um, maybe even Monday, um, and then I'll, uh, you know, get to work on it midweek so I won't have to wait until the weekend. For now, what I'm going to do is uh, put these eye bolts into this wood block here. I'm going to use these for tensioner. I'm going to attach some um, all thread to these somehow. And then I'll use uh, that ball thread coming out this side with some nuts on it to tension this uh, platform, this little mounting block, against the belt. So here I'm preparing the uh, all thread that I'm going to use as, as a tension rod. And I'm just bending these into little hooks on the shop press. thread ready. Got these hooks here. Did those on the, what do you call that thing, on the shop press. Love that thing. Worth every penny. About 140 bucks on at Harbor Freight. I had put the, um, hooks on either side of a long piece of all thread, so I was just cutting it into two pieces. Alright, 38 centimeters each. <coughs> nice little hooks to grow in those eyes. Okay, so this is where we are currently. I've got this all thread. I've got the holes drilled. Uh, I've got the loops over here. I'm going to go ahead and slide the loops onto these eyes and then slide these um, support bars through the holes that they, that they pass through on that mounting block.
Okay, so they're in. So there, I've got my bolts on this side so I can put some washers and nuts on here and I'll use that to tension this thing. Pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm just cleaning up the ends of the all threads so that I can easily get the washer and nuts on there. Ground off some of the burrs and stuff, and now I'm going to retap some of the threads to make sure that the nuts can um, screw onto the bolts. This is a tap and die set from Harbor Freight that I got as a Christmas present. It's turned out to be surprisingly useful. I never had one before and now that I have it I use it all the time. All right, so I've got the uh, tensioners in. So I've got the eye bolts there, and then I had those pieces, those uh, pieces of all thread that I bent on the uh, uh, shop press. And ran through this hole here. It's kind of difficult. I had to take this whole thing apart, actually. I slid these rails back, took the mounting block off, um, and then I fed the all thread through um, yeah sorry I put the all thread on the eyes fed the all thread through and then I put the rails back through the mounting block and then put it back through here so it was quite involved and it was pretty challenging but it's mounted now uh, and these tensioners work great I got these um, real thick washers uh, and um, these nuts that we use to tension everything up as needed. Um, this is a problem that we're dealing with, of course, is that uh, the belt that I got is too small. So I'm waiting to get a 76 inch belt. This is a 72 inch, so I'm getting a 76 inch. Four inches longer, that gives us um, two inches of additional space to work with. Um, so that extra two inches should be perfect as far as I can tell because you know if I back this up another two three inches that should take up all the excess of um, you know this would have been great but I need an extra say one inch no maybe maybe two inches maybe the 76 inch will work just perfectly on this um, anyway so if it doesn't work perfectly then I have all this excess over on the right that I can use to tension with these uh, tension bolts here to get it uh, set just the way we need to. Um, looks like it's going to work well in terms of how well it's going to grip to spin it. Um, I'm not really applying uh, I'm not really applying that much force to this and it just spins real nicely. Uh, grips plenty well. There's no slippage. So um, yeah, I think it's we just got to get the damn thing, get get a belt on it, get the damn thing hooked up, and that should that should do the trick. <laughs>